welcome back to Crash Blade Gaming. I'm your host Crash, and before I get into the spiel of everything, go ahead and subscribe to the video, like the video, and share it. Help this channel grow. I really would appreciate it. That would help out a lot. So thank you for all my subscribers that I already have. Now I've been on a little bit of a rapid strike, I guess, tear here with a bunch of rapid strike decks that I've been showcasing. But I like the archetype, and it does pretty well for itself. And uh, so does Vaporeon VMAX, pairs well with Zero Aura. So let's go ahead and get into the Pokemon question of the day. Alright, let's go ahead and get into the Pokemon question of the day. As of the recording of this video, nobody has answered the question from the last video, and that's okay. If you do answer it before the posting of this video, I would have counted it towards your score to win free stuff. And you have to get three questions right, not in a row, just three in a right, to get free stuff, which would be awesome. And Najuza is the king of this or queen, they have gotten three questions right, they've already received prizes, and from what I heard, some awesome pulls off it. Anyways, the question from last week was, this Pokemon is able to learn a lot of battle moves, it does not have an evolution, and it can freely travel underwater or in the air, who is this Pokemon? Well, if you guessed this Pokemon, Mew, you guessed right. I decided to throw Mew in here, just to get Mew some limelight, since it is, you know, the star of the most recent set of Pokemon. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the next question for this video. So, this water-type Pokemon has red eyes and three clusters of red spines running along its back from its head to its tail. Who is this Pokemon? Go ahead and leave your answer in the comment section down below. I will be paying attention and mark you if you give the correct answer. So, let's go ahead and get into the deck list for the video. Okay, for this Rapid Strike deck, we are going to be focusing on Vaporeon, VMAX, and these two attacks here, Bubble Pod and Max Torrent. Uh, Max Torrent does 200 damage if your opponent's active Pokemon already has any amount of damage counters on it. And Bubble Pod lets you put a Pokemon from your discard onto your bench. If you do, you can attach up to three water energies, but we don't really need to have water energy in this deck. Let's go ahead and see how we make Vaporeon VMAX work. Well, of course, we're going to play a couple copies of Zigzagoon here just to put that one damage counter that we need. And we play a line of a 4-3-2 Inteleon with one of them being the quick shooting Inteleon, which we can also cheat out with the Vaporeon VMAX Bubble Pod attack, which is nice. And then of course it wouldn't be a complete Rapid Strike deck if you didn't include at least a 1-1 line of Octillery, and of course Zero Order here to help clean up the benches of our opponent's opposing Pokemon with the Cross Fist attack. Being able to hit 100 damage to the active and 160 to the bench. Knocks out uh, Crobats. Now, of course, Vaporeon V is a good card in itself. The first attack, Triple Draw, draw three cards. Not, you know, you wouldn't really use it unless you need to. And we have a Splash Jump here. 90 damage, and you switch it with a Pokemon on your bench, which comes in handy sometimes. Let's go ahead and talk about how we are accelerating some energy, but not really. Elemental Badge. Uh, this lets us use our Vaporeon's attacks for one colorless energy less, which means we can just be using Rapid Strike energy to use Vaporeon V's attacks. So that just makes us have to attach one energy at least, which helps us in the later games to set up the Zero Aura so we can attach our energies there. Um, there's just four Lightning Energies down here. A little bit big of a deck list here, but uh, we got our normal line here of low balls, quick balls, a couple scoop up nets in case we need to scoop up the zigzagoons or the drizzles, tower of waters to help with the free retreat, and a standard supporter line. And as a matter of fact, you might be able to get away with not playing Raihan in this deck. Sometimes it is a little bit uh, difficult to get the lightning energies in the discard, but it does come in handy if you do get knocked out and your zero or can attack next turn with the help of a Raihan. So that's why it's in here. But enough about the deck. Let's go ahead and get into some matches. Alright, we got a Vaporeon in the active and Elemental Badge. We have a really nice hand here. Let's go ahead and play the Elemental Badge. Quick Ball away a research. Let's see, I could get. I think right now it's more important to get the Rim Raid down. Because I don't have my Inteleons. So we'll go ahead and grab the Rim Raid, play that, and pass the turn. We can go into VMAX and Tower of Waters and Research. Hopefully we hit into an energy and then we will be on our way to taking down this opponent's 
Let's see, they have a Snorlax and a Sobble. They could be playing Decidueye. We'll find out here. If they are playing Decidueye. Nope, they're playing Butterfree and Salander. Okay. So we're really hoping to get an Octillery or an energy off of this research and the top deck that we have here. Alright, so we got a Raihan. Go ahead and evolve into the VMAX. Play the waters. Research away that. And we hit the energy perfect. Got a Sobble. We even hit the Octillery, which is great. We can search for a Rapid Strike card. Which I think is just going to be another Sobble? Yeah, we can just go ahead and get another Sobble for now. Rapid Strike Energy, and we can Max Torrent. Take a knockout, hopefully we get into one of our Inteleons. Of the quick shooting variety would have been better. That's okay. So next turn we can attach the Lightning Energy to their aura, boss up the Salandit, and be in a really good spot. Just depending on what our opponent does. I'm surprised they are playing... I haven't seen a Caterpie, but that might bring down a Caterpie. There we go. So the plan remains the same here. I don't think, yeah, they won't be able to get an attack off this turn, which is good for us. They might be able to set up another Salandit, which is fair. Our opponent goes with Shady Dealings here. Yeah, we're looking in a, we're looking to be sitting in a pretty decent spot, especially with the boss's orders. Hopefully we don't get Marnied. The Turfell Stadium doesn't bother me too much. As long as we don't get Marnied, we should be okay because we have the Lightning Energy attachment and a boss to take out the Salandit. And there's the Gormandine, so we are good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and attach that. Don't need to play anything else, really. I can save my Drizzle, but I don't want to, just in case I pull Inteleon off the prizes. So, let's make it a little bit harder for you to keep your stadium and your evolution line. Go ahead and play another Tower of Waters, which is fine. And we can Rapid Strike Search for another Vaporeon. Play that down. Boss up the Salandit. Max Torrent. And this stops our opponent from being able to attack. And is that the Quick Shooter? It is not. Evolution Incense is great. Not the worst, but it's good. So yeah, next turn we're going to be taking, uh, well, one prize. Unfortunately, Crossfist does not take out Snorlax, but with the Evo Incense, I can grab a Drizzile, which could get me a boss. Oh. Oh, I don't like that Evo Tall. I don't like that either Evo Tall one bit. That's the Cry of Destruction he built on. Oh man. Okay. So. I can boss up a Drizzile. I can boss up a Drizzile and hit the Veltal for the knockout. I can boss up the Inteleon and hit the Veltal for the knockout. Which is fine with me. As long as we don't get Marnie. Well, even if we get Marnie, we have Octillery. see if we keep our stadium. We do keep our stadium, which is nice. The Quick Ball's gonna get them a Salandit, and they can Bruno for whatever they, for seven more cards. Yeah, the Zero Aura comes in clutch for this matchup because I'm able to take two prizes in one turn, which single strike decks, you know, have a good advantage when only taking one prize a turn, and then boom, they take three. They might do the Cry of Destruction here. 
which won't be too bad. Are you gonna scoop? <gasps> hey, we'll do crowd destruction. But you didn't take away my stadium. You're only gonna discard one energy. Well, it, it's better that they discard one energy than none, right? So, that's fine. Okay, so we retreat into Zeraora. We artillery here. Oh, I don't have, oh, I do have another Drizzle. Get another Vaporeon VMAX going. Get the Rapid Strike energy. I should have checked for a boss before I retreated. Do we have a boss in the deck? Okay, we do. I want to leave the Zigzagoon in the deck. I'll just grab out a Sobble. Evil Incense for the Drizzile. Yes, I would love to. That gets me another boss's orders. Let's put the energy. Boss up the Salandit. And we cross fist, knocking out the Evil Tall and the Salandit, taking two prizes. Energy and Inteleon finally. There's our quick shooter. Alright. So yeah, our opponent is going to have a tough time coming back from this. Unfortunately, my only attacker is the Zero Aura as of right now. So I need to retreat into my Vaporeon VMAX. Artillery for the rapid strike energy, and we are good to go. And maybe I shouldn't have played this second before and I don't really need it. Alright. Inteleon. Rapid strike search for the energy. We Marnie, just to thin their hand out, make it harder for them. Retreat into our Vaporeon VMAX. Quick shoot the Snorlax in the active. And we take a prize. There's the other Intellion, and this is pretty much game. Our opponent has nothing to do. I would not be surprised if they conceded. Um, just complete blowout from us, unfortunately. Sorry for our opponent there. They will still play nonetheless. They need a way to get the energies off of my Victoria VMAX. And even then, we will be fine. And unfortunately, they only played one Turfield Stadium, which is amazing for us. Like, that free retreat really helps. Scoop up the Butterfree. Doesn't matter. Our opponent just needs to pass the turn, or maybe they're trying to get some challenges done by evolving grass and water type Pokemon. Who knows? But that is all they can do. So I'm just going to retreat into their aura and take out your Drizzile. And Salandit. Your Salandit's never got to evolve. But our opponent is still playing out their hand. There's a Salazzle for the longest time. Uh, Zero Aura just probably hurt our opponent too much. Being able to take out that other Salandit. Well, since we are confused, our opponent can see. Alright. Ooh, we're going up against a Blissey here. Interesting. Uh, we can go ahead and quick ball away this escape rope then. Grab ourselves a Sobble. Yep, grab ourselves a Sobble here. Um, attached Rapid Strike Energy. Level Ball for Grimmerade. Or Zigzagoon. Always get a Zigzagoon later. Let's get the Grimmerade down. It's good to have the Rapid Strike Search. And that's it. We passed the turn. Next turn I can drizzle for Evil Incense. 
which will get me Octillery, which will get me Vaporeon VMAX, which then hopefully will hit into a Zigzagoon. So we got a two shot this Blissey, and I would also like to get a Zero Aura down. Because they just put another Blissey on the bench. Hopefully they don't have a research with a lot of energies in their hand. They might be a little stuck. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, but this Blissey deck does have a way to heal a ton of energy. Not a ton of energy, a ton of stuff. Oh, this might throw off our plans a little bit if they boss up a Sobble. Okay, they're not. They might boss it up next turn, though. Alright, Blissful Blast didn't do much. That's cool. So we drizzle out here. We go for the Evo Incense. And we get the Octillery. And then we Marnie. Evo Incense is good, Zero Aura, and Zigzagoon. Wow, I don't even need the Octillery for anything now. There's that, Zigzagoon. I can actually use Octillery to get down a Sobble. And, oh, I'm missing the... Crap. <laughs> I am missing the item card that would have allowed me to attack that's a bummer that kind of hurts a little bit um evil incense oof artillery for the quick shooter oh thank goodness they hit tails hopefully we got them stuck we'll see i kind of misplayed there they just do another blissful blast that's okay all right so we do top deck at energy. So let's rapid strike search here. I'm gonna get the Inteleon. Let's make sure we have the item the tools. There we go, the elemental badge. Okay. So we do that. We can get the drizzle here. Yes. Let's go for the tool card. Dash energy there. Let's quick shooting the active. And we max torrent now. Should be close to a knockout. 70, 70 HP, not too bad. Uh, they probably have a Cheryl in their hand, which is going to be a little bit of a bummer. But I play Cheryl too. And they don't know this. But on the bright side, I can get a Rapid Strike Energy Retreat into Zero Aura if they don't heal, knock out the Blissey V, and do a significant amount of damage to the Blissey on the bench. Oh, they attach an energy. Out to the beak. That's fine. That doesn't affect me. Hmm. Another Blissful Blast. Okay. This isn't looking... Like, we are going to struggle here. We Rapid Strike Search now for energy. Attach the Zero Aura. Retreat into Zero Aura. Quick shooting the Blissey on the bench. And we Cross Fist. Take a knockout and deal a lot of damage to the bench. Blissey. Prize, Rapid Strike, energy, perfect, level balls, meh. But if our opponent doesn't have any way to heal this Blissey, we just win. Attach a Psychic Energy and that looks like that's it. Interesting. I think that Marnie that we played really hurt our- oh, they're gonna play down another Blissey. Well, that's annoying. Ah, Suspicious Food Tin, does that keep you alive? It does. However, I have a before and Max just waiting to come back up. Boss's orders, my Inteleon, and they concede. That's fine. 
looks like we're going up against the Eternatus deck here, and we are going second. Oh, this is different. Okay. That's an interesting little guy. Still some type of Eternatus deck. Um, yeah, I guess we... Uh, we quick ball away the boss's orders. Grab the Vaporeon or a Sobble and hope for the best. Grab the Vaporeon here. Gonna go ahead and attach the Rapid Strike energy. Scoop up the Zig. Play the Zig, hit the e turn, and Cripple Joel. There's a Sobble, which is nice. And next turn I can touch the energy and splash jump back into the Zigzagoon. Well, let's hope they don't get into VMAX. Oh, there's a dark Pokemon and an energy. Let's hope they can't uh, use Crobat or something. We're gonna hope. Oh, because that VMAX is gonna hurt. Oh, they Crobat for three. That's not too bad. Oh, there's a switch. Oh. Okay. Lay down the Sobble now. I wonder if my splash jump happens first. I'm gonna see. We'll splash jump here. Go with the Zigzagoon. Oh, it still hits my Vaporeon, that's funny. Okay. Oh, we get a Drizzle off the prizes, that's nice. That means we can uh, get a Vaporeon VMAX. And we can hit 200 damage into this Eternatus. And then we will have a Shady Dealings Inteleon. Which seems nice. Hopefully they don't have a boss. Looks like our opponent's a little stuck here. Okay, they have a research, so no boss is good. They will be able to knock out Ziggs again, of course. But I'm not worried about that at all yet. Now really, it's like, should I drizz out for Marnie? Well, I'll have Raihan too. Oh, but I can't play it because I don't have basic energy in the discard. Fine. down another Eternus. Our opponent has their bench as far as they need. Oh, they switch into Zigzagoon. Okay. This is their aura, which is nice. I can attach this energy to their aura. I can play this Drizzile. Yes, I would like to Marnie myself now. Vaporeon VMAX is a good draw there. Let's go ahead and evolve you. And place you down. And hold the level ball for another drizzle, I think. Yeah, I think that's the best thing to do. I can play down this Vaporeon. Alright. That's all we got. Holding the level ball for another drizzle. That way, I can drizzle for... Another Rapid Strike Energy hit tails, sweet. Not another Rapid Strike Energy, and that way I can just out for a research and go from there. Um, probably looking to use an escape rope though. Or a scoop up net. I can hit that Moltres. I quick ball and they're stuck. The life card, that's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and attach here. Level ball, grab. Drizzile. Yep. Let's do that. Yes, I would like a research. And since I can thin the deck out, let's go ahead and get this Sobble out of there. And research that away and see what we can come up with. An escape rope is nice. An Inteleon is nice. And a scoop up net is nice. 
Hmm. Let's see. Let's go ahead and evolve into the Inteleon. Two forty, I think. Oh, how much damage do you do? Thirty damage for each Dark Pokemon. 30, 60, 90, 120, 240. So he can knock out my VMAX. That's for sure. If only I got well. Oh, I can use Splash Jump. Let's play the escape rope here. Let's see what they give me. It all depends on what he pulls into the active. It's the other zigzagoon, I'm just gonna splash them. Okay, I'll still just splash them. Uh, let's quick shooting the Moltres. And then we splash them. Take another prize and give you the zigzagoon. That's cool with me. Evil Incense gets me the other before I VMAX, but I might hold it for the splash jump here. But never, never mind. He pulls up his Eternus. What does Hidden Claw do? Uh, okay, that's fine. Oh, he got a Marnie. I had a good hand. I had Cheryl. But that doesn't mean... That means he doesn't have a boss, though. I uh, could boss up the Moltres. Or I can take... I think I can take three prior. Let's go ahead and play the zero R now. Need an energy for sure. So I do a hundred and then I do 160 to the bench. So I can't knock out the Moltres, but I can knock out a Crobat. But I do have to get an energy. So let's get rid of zero R here. Let's get a Remoraid. There's two lightning energies in there. Oh, this is tricky. Play that. Get the Inteleon here. Yes. So now I want... The Research and an Elemental Badge. No, research and Evil Incense. Evil Incense for Vaporeon VMAX. Well evolved for that other Drizzle I don't need. And we research hoping for an energy. Oh, we got it. Good. Good, good, good. We quick shooting Crobat. And we cross fist, taking out the Crobat. And that puts Eternus VMAX within range for my Vaporeon. And actually, the Moltres is in range too, and I have a boss's orders. So we're in a really good shape here. They could retreat, that's fine. Oh, that VMAX is not within range. Because I don't have a Zigzagoon. Well, technically, no, I don't. So he played Pierce, so we keep our hand. We don't get Marnie. Perfect. We can boss up the Moltres and just win the game. Never had to knock out an Eternus Emax. And I gave them my Zero Aura, that's fine. I think that's a fair trade. Cool. We promote our VMAX. And we quick shooting the Moltres. Just to be sure. Boss up the Moltres and Max Torrent. Get him out of here. That's game. Well, that was Vaporeon VMAX for you. It does pair nicely with the Zero Aura. However, the deck can be a little bit slow at times, so it makes it hard to play. It's not a, a decent pair like if you were pairing it with Blaziken. Blaziken Zero Aura is an amazing pair. However, it's still fun to play. You still get damage across, and you know, sometimes you have to make some interesting moves to win. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time on Cosplay Gaming.